Welcome to another instructional video from OWL, the wise choice in fiber optic test equipment. I'm Professor Jim Powers. In over 12 years on the market, OWL has gained a reputation for providing high quality yet affordable fiber optic test equipment. Today I would like to introduce the OWLTREK Multimode OTDR. As you can see, this is truly a pocket sized device. Yet don't let the size fool you. This OTDR can do everything you need a multi-mode OTDR to do and more. Let me explain some of the key features about this OTDR so to show you why OWL is the wise choice for multi-mode OTDRs. Aside from price, dynamic range is perhaps the most used specification for evaluating one vendor's OTDR versus another. Now, when you're comparing on data sheets, you see a higher dynamic range. Well, that's better, right? Well, not necessarily, at least where multimode is concerned. Dynamic range is directly related to distance, so a wider dynamic range translates to a longer measurement distance. Well, let's see how that works with the Altrek multimode or TDR. At 850 nanometers, it has 25 dB of range, and at 1300, it has 23 dB of range. So how does that relate to distance? Well, 12 miles. But I don't know about you, I don't know of anyone who has a 12 mile multimode link. In fact, if I was testing a TIA 568 cabling link, then I would be limited to about a mile and a quarter. Or if I was testing an ethernet link for one gig or 10 gig, modal dispersion effects severely limit the bandwidth on those networks. So, and that likewise limits the distance that you can measure. In fact, it's limited to about a thousand feet on OM3 and OM4 fibers. So, even though you have a lot of dynamic range, it's not going to make a bit of difference because there is no multimode network that ever reaches 12 miles. So, knowing that, would you not rather spend a thousand or more dollars less for an OTDR and still do what you need to do? Altrek OTDRs include an integrated visual fault locator that is used for quick troubleshooting of fiber faults that occur in, in an optical fiber link that are too close for an OTDR to see. The red laser of a VFL, when it encounters a fault, say in a splice tray behind a patch panel, which is too close for the OTDR to see, uh, a red glow will pr uh, be produced at the point of the fault. This is an indication of that you need to repair the fiber at that point. Now, there are two key advantages that an integrated VFL like this one uh, has over traditional pen style VFLs. The first is, is that uh, integrated VFLs like this one are optimized for fiber optics by placing a tiny ball lens in front of the laser. So, when the light comes out of the laser, the ball lens focuses it at the perfect point for input into an optical fiber. Pen style VFLs typically do not include this ball lens. The second key advantage is that the integrated VFL has circuitry that protects the laser from, from battery surges that might damage the material of the red laser. The red laser material has a susceptibility to uh, battery surges and it weakens over time. So if you put a new battery in, into a, a brand new VFL and might be bright, but the next battery you put in, it'll be dimmer and even dimmer yet when you put a third battery in. Eventually, the, the VFL is going to be so weak that it's not even going to make a difference when you put a new battery in. Uh, this is typically what uh, pen style VFLs have. Uh, integrated VFLs, by having this extra circuitry, protect the laser from battery surges and it makes the VFL last a whole lot longer and it has a lot better performance. Okay, another feature I would like to cover today has to do with uh, the automatic event location capability of the OWLTREK OTDR. Now, automatic event location is actually something that's only normally found in high-end OTDRs, but we've put it into this nice compact device. The whole purpose of using an OTDR is to find events. Now, events can be reflective events, like a break or a shatter or a fiber end or a connection. 
or they could be backscatter events like splices or microbends or macrobends. Okay, the whole purpose is to find these events. Now, some of these events really can't be seen no matter how big or small your, your screen is. So, the OTDR itself has to analyze the trace and determine where these events are. And what these OTDRs do is takes these events, puts them in a table format, and the user can jump to this table, pick the event they want to look at, and it, it ends up on the screen and you're zoomed in so you can do further trace analysis. Now, even though you're zoomed in, you might want a little bit extra uh, area to look at. So what OWL has done is to put a MEMS into the meter, and what you do is you simply tilt it, and you get a little wider viewing area by viewing in landscape mode. Okay, so the trace information is still here on the bottom of the screen, and the function keys are still over here. But it lets you zoom in a little bit further if you need to do uh, a little bit more detailed trace analysis. Okay, now you can also use the arrow keys to zoom in further or zoom out vertically, horizontally, however you want. This is how uh, all OTRs work, all track does as well. Um, now, even though with the screen is a fairly good size, it's not necessarily enough if you're a training center, for example, and you want to show this off to multiple people. Or if you are, uh, you're demonstrating to a customer, you're showing them some events that are happening on their, on their fiber, but uh, it, there's too many people to look at this little screen. So what you can do is you can hook this up to a PC or a laptop running all of these software and enter what's called live mode. What live mode does is it takes what's on the screen and puts it onto the uh, laptop or the PC screen. This is very useful when multiple people need to view the, uh, the trace information. Now, another nice feature of live mode is that it's also taking traces constantly in real time. So if you want to see v uh, different changes in, that are happening real time to the fiber, you can do that. Now, you could demonstrate this by bending a, a fiber and you can see the, the, what it does to the trace. Or if you're doing a splice, for example, you can see you know, how good your splice is before you, you know, activate your, your, or your um, mechanical splice or your fusion splice, which is you know, it's another nice feature. And it's not really found in, in, in anything but high-end OTDRs. So event tables, the MEMS flip, live view, all great advantages to use the multi-mode OTDR from OWL. Okay, so we've taken some traces and we've stored them in the, in the OTDR. Now we want to download them from the OTDR to the PC for permanent storage. So the whole purpose of OwlView software, and I've explained it OwlView with LiveView before, but the whole purpose of OwlView software is to download the traces from the OTDR to the PC via the USB cable. Once the data is downloaded, it is stored in a file format uh, made by the Telcordia. It's, a, it's an industry standard called the GR196. We happen to use the most current version, 2.0. Some of you may recognize this as the .SOR format. Okay, so, but once the data is downloaded into the PC, there are quite a few things you can do with it. Um, as we've explained with live mode, you can you know, view events and the trace on the screen in real time. But if you're using the software to view old traces, you can also do event analysis. You can look at the different, different events. Maybe you're taking two events and you're comparing them you know, to see if there's uh, degradation over time. Um, another feature is you can add user notes. You know, maybe there was a special environment that you were, you were testing in, or maybe it was uh, something where you need to, to put in the, the technician's name, for example. Um, you can also print reports, whether it be hard copy or in PDF file, if you have that capability. In fact, most users want their data in PDF format. Another nice feature is, is the help menu. Now, the help menu, menu is going to include several things, such as PDF files, 
like manuals, quick reference guides, you know, maintenance tips, that sort of thing. But it's also in, going to include videos. You know, videos will be accessible from the help menu. And eventually, these videos are also going to be accessible by hot linking on the trace itself. So if you want to right click on a trace, just get a basic general idea of what a trace is, that sort of thing. You know, a video will pop up or an option for a PDF file. Likewise, if you want to view what an event is about, let's say a reflective event, right click and you'll see a menu come up. You pick a PDF file or a video. And Professor Jim Powers is going to tell you about that event. So it's just another reason to consider the OwlTrek OTDR over a competitive product. This has been another instructional video from OWL, the wise choice in fiber optic test equipment. For more information about additional instructional videos or OWL fiber optic test equipment in general, please visit OWL's website at owl-inc.com. I'm Professor Jim Powers. Thanks for watching.